this week, I made some ninja stars. Let's see how I made them. Welcome to Fusion 360. All right, let's create this ninja star. All right, let's start with a circle. Oh, well, first off, we need to start by creating a new component and we'll call this ninja star and we'll start on a new sketch and we'll do this with very basic shapes so we'll just do a center circle we'll make that 20 millimeters and then we'll create another one for the outside diameter and we'll make that 30 millimeters and then from there we just need to make the spike that comes out so the way I found this is I just make an arbitrary line um, whoops and I just turn this into a construction line and this gives me a, a point of reference um, the same on both sides so I just put it about there and I'm just gonna freehand this so we'll go from here to let's say say about there we'll take it up to about 50 millimeters and then we'll just do the same on the other side and then bring it down and that looks about even so from there that's really all we need to do in a sketch so we'll stop this sketch and we'll have a quick look and then we'll need to do some extrusions so we extrude this up about seven millimeters um, we'll turn this sketch back on and I want this a bit thinner so we'll make this about we'll make it about five I think this will look good uh, now before I do the pattern uh, the circular pattern I'm gonna do all the fillets and chamfers now I found that once I do the pattern the chamfers and fillets don't work very well so I'm going to fillet these so let's see. oh too much okay um, two millimeters looks good and we'll do underneath as well um, do two millimeters I have to do these one at a time which is really frustrating sometimes so two millimeters and then let's do a chamfer on this edge so it makes it look really nice and sharp and nasty so if I can get my mouse over it we'll go to uh, modify and chamfer and we'll take it down to five millimeters uh, so that looks nice and nasty so let's now do a pattern so we'll create pattern circular pattern and we'll select bodies and we'll make sure this is selected and then we'll do the this axis here so we're gonna start with three I think that looks great looks a bit like a Mitsubishi symbol but I think it'll work well as a ninja star so I'm gonna do a few of these one at uh, I think I'll do one at four so let's have a look at that so we can edit this um, this feature and we'll have a look at what four looks like yeah, that looks really cool. And then let's have another edit. And let's see. Oh, seven looks really cool. Let's have a look at that. Ha oh, ha, that looks epic. That looks epic. All right. So from here, all you need to do is make a 3D print and save it. It'll save it as an STL file. And then we can go and print it. Okay, I, I'll show you uh, something I do before I put it into Cura, which is repair it. So let me just open that for you now. Okay, I've got it open in 3D Builder here. Now it's looking good, but it also needs to be repaired. Um, now for some reason, I need to do this after I um, do a, a pattern. Uh, I don't know if I need to do something um, usually uh, before in th Fusion 360, but I need to bring it in here so I can actually print it. So it's gonna repair this model and then we're gonna bring it into Cura. 
Now in Cura, um, it comes up like this, so we need to do a rotate, so it's going to print properly. Uh, so let's put that level with the ground there. There we go. And that is looking good. So now, um, from there, I just make sure I check my settings uh, and they seem all normal and, and good. So I'll just save this off and we'll put it into um, Octoprint. Okay, I've just uh, uploaded it onto Octoprint. Um, from here, we can have a look at the printer. There's no light on at the moment, but uh, I will set all that up for the time lapse. And then we just hit print. I love I love Octoprint. Uh, it just makes things so much easier than bringing it over with an SD card. All right, let's start the time lapse. This was a fun episode to record. Now, I've uh, made a few iterations of these little ninja stars and just by using that pattern tool, I was able to use mul get multiple spikes really easily. Now, they've, they've come out of the printer really nice. Uh, there's a few little discrepancies with it. Uh, I'll show you with some photos um, overlaid on, on top of the video, but uh, all in all, I'm really happy with this build. Now, I'm not an expert on Fusion 360, I'm just getting uh, getting used to it. And I thought this was a, a, a fantastic project to just cut my teeth into it and, and have a bit of a go. So if you liked it, if you like this video, smash that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe uh, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> <Fuck that. laughs>